I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Greetings and welcome, this is Creepy. So I had the opportunity to play with the new Doggocopter clone and so far it's been fun. It's unique and um, it doesn't have a specific role as of right now, for me at least. Uh, so let's see how it works. It's a 5 mana medical clone with decent HP and it can attack from a distance. It can only target things that are in front of it. The range on it is comparable to a tower. It flies slowly towards the enemy tower, bobbing up and down. When the Doggocopter is destroyed, Dr. Doggo jumps out of it and can continue to deal damage, but it's not that much, so it's not a big threat. Its slow movement and long range makes it better at dealing with hovering clones such as Core Bomber or Doggo House or Core Freezer. And then when it's dealt with them, it can also deal damage to the tower from a distance. It is also good against other low HP ear clones such as the Bomb Drone or the Bomb Fly. It can only target one thing at a time, so it won't change targets until the first target is dead or it's pushed out of range. It can act as a decent tank for your other damage dealing clones such as Bomb Fly, Bomb Birds or Doggers. The DPS on it is not very high so I won't recommend it over Drago to use against tanky clones such as Big Frost and Bomb Golem. If you have the second bow activated, it can deal with multiple different clones with the help of the tower. Even including some tanky clones such as Drago. It can keep the tower in vulnerable state for longer by attacking it from a distance and the tower won't explode until it stops attacking it. It's not very strong against fast ground clones such as Striker Boy and Rogue because it doesn't deal enough damage in time so that the tower can finish them off and it doesn't stop them from pushing bombs either. With its fast attack speed, it can completely shut down Doggo Hood. With its unique movement, it's hard to aim at the Doggo Copter to counter it and I often end up missing the clone. But the thing to note with its movement is that it always travels to the center or lower part of the tower. So you can use this to your advantage and plan ahead. Do not use flying doggos against it because it will kill it quite quickly. The doggocopter doesn't deal too much damage from its arrows to the tower so you can let it be unless it's too close to the tower to enter it. There aren't any clones in the game that can kill it instantly. But there are some options that you can use to take less damage from it. Fireball, Sticky Bomb, Spiky and Arrows are really good options to weaken it before it deals too much damage to the tower. You can disable it using the anti-gravity, but the tower damage won't be enough to kill it, so you'll have to use other clones to kill it fast. You can use Mind Tick to capture it and use the opponent's Doggocopter against them. But make sure to not capture it close to their own tower because the tower will kill the Mind Tick really quickly and your tick will be wasted. In terms of combo you can use it with Bouncy Bomb, Cluster Bomb or Plane Bomb to push the bomb into the enemy tower. It's not very effective though and will require some practice. The Doggocopter is a decent clone. It's strong but only in particular situations. It won't replace your usual Drago because it doesn't have that much power behind it to be effective against ground pushes. But you can constantly harass your opponents with long range pokes with this clone. So it might take a while for people to recognize how to properly use this clone. So far I'm quite happy with this. It's a new clone concept and uh, I think it's the first one that actually targets clones other than the Blastfish but uh, it requires a bait. This one targets automatically. What, what do you guys think? Is it good? Bad? Or do you have some other opinions? 
Let me know down in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Till then, this is Gravy signing out.